good unless it's fun. Like, I, I think people always say, like, oh, you go from job to job or, like, you do a bunch of stuff. But I was, I'm just following the fun. I, whatever feels good and feels like an interesting thing at the time, I'm going to go with that because that's the only thing we have at the end. Childish Gambino is the best creative within the modern era and one of my favorite artists. He's truly a genius, but that title weighs him down. As we see time and time again, being a genius and being successful is a difficult mixture to maintain. Donald Glover is a proven actor, comedian, screenwriter, singer, rapper, hell, he's even a half-decent dancer. He fully encompasses the concept of a jack-of-all-trades, but is he too smart for his own good? The man who once owned the spotlight appears to be someone that people are beginning to forget and neglect. In this video, I want to take a dive into the complex circumstance that is the balancing act of being Donald Glover and Childish Gambino. Right off the bat, Donald Glover has achieved a lot, winning Emmys for his hit series Atlanta, which he acts, directs, and writes for. He has also won multiple Grammys for his massively popular album, Because the Internet, released in 2013. This was also followed by the resounding success of the album Awaken My Love in 2016. Now, I was a big fan of the show Community when it was on Netflix, and so naturally when Because the Internet came out, it was an album I annoyed people with. I'd often be the one snatching the aux cord just to play the album. At the time, Childish Gambino and Donald Glover was an artist that I could not shut up about. If you have never listened to these albums before, or at least Because the Internet, I strongly recommend you listen to it with the screenplay. It's a truly next level experience and something I really enjoy. Okay. Now, when watching interviews of Donald Glover talking about his music and also trending topics, he quickly garnered comparisons to fellow musical genius Kanye West. This is because he would give outside-the-box answers or give very confident and borderline arrogant responses to where he saw himself in music. He also had the large tendency to give very confusing responses to certain questions. And this is going to sound wrong, but I'm not anti-bully because bullies are the world. There is a clear comparison to make, and I think you can also compare the struggles both have because of their creative intellect. The reason genius and success doesn't mix well is because once you receive validation for your work, the bar for success increases until the point where something you create is no longer something you enjoy. As history shows, geniuses have fragile egos and are very sensitive. So once this shift in motivation becomes noticeable by fans, and they receive criticism for what feels like the first time, these geniuses begin to struggle. This is something that Kanye West clearly has issues with, and is something that is beginning to show with Donald Glover. It affects me. I'm like definitely self-conscious. I'm probably the most self-conscious person I know. Mm -hmm. Definitely the most self-conscious, like, quote, rapper, even though I don't, I'm not a rapper. But I, I'm just going to be honest from now on. I'm tired of it. You know what's making this is America. Don't catch you slipping now. Don't catch you slipping now. The writing was definitely on the wall for the childish Gambino persona after Awaken My Love was released, and he had announced at one of his shows that the next Gambino album would be his last. This came as a surprise to a lot of people, including myself, but made sense due to the release of the show Atlanta within the same year and people recognizing his change in focus as he had done when he had left Community to focus on his music career previously. This changing of focus is not really the problem. It's actually quite understandable. The problem is the product that we received since then. In 2020, the last Gambino album was released with 31520. Now, at the time of its release, the pandemic times had begun, and so I had a lot of time to sit and marinate with this album while the whole world was practically on fire, and I have to say, I wasn't super impressed. For some reason, the whole vibe of the album felt very off to me, and not in the he's trying something new kind of way, but in the I'm just gonna cobble this together sort of way. It felt like it lacked identity, and I never really got the messaging behind the album, so if any of you understand it, feel free to educate me in the comments. This was the first time I'd listened to something from Gambino and not been a huge fan, but it happens. It is still disappointing, however, knowing that the final album from an artist that I found so profound and illuminating goes out on such a weak note. And I feel like that sort of lackluster feeling had started to seep into his other work. Season 3 and Season 4 of Atlanta was announced by Gambino on Twitter, and once again, he had announced that this would be his final work on the show, as he felt like he could end it at its peak. 
Now, I was also a fan of the first two seasons of Atlanta, so once again, I was quite surprised with the feeling that seasons three and four gave. It felt like the identity of the show, whether purposeful or not, lost itself, and the themes just didn't come across as smart as it once did on the previous seasons. This also happened to be a commonly held opinion about the show. For seasons one and two, the audience scores for Atlanta were at around 86%. For the newest seasons of the show, the audience ratings were at around 60 to 65%, showing a massive drop off in fan approval. Gambino also took to Twitter to lash out at fans, pushing back against criticism of the show and also voicing his displeasure around the remarks surrounding the newer seasons. I don't want to be the black dude you want me to be. Like, it's like I want to be me all the time. Like, yes, if somebody tests me, if I got to get in a fight, I'm still a nigga from Atlanta. I will test you back. Like, I don't give a fuck. But at the end of the day, it's like, come on, dog. Like, I just want to live. Now, I believe this criticism of Atlanta is when Donald Glover began to crack and where I'm starting to see less and less conversation around Childish Gambino's brilliance as an artist. People feel after his monumental successes, both in music and in acting, that Gambino just lost the same motivation that pushed him to these successes in the first place. It's hard to argue against that when these products feel so different and just so despondent from his previous work. My personal opinion is that when you are the jack of all trades, you tend to be the master of none. And I think that's what's affecting Donald Glover and Childish Gambino. His focus isn't just in one artistic expression, it's in multiple. And so that can also lead to a sort of divided feeling coming across within his produced work. For a while, he was able to manage these different interests, but over time, his ability to mask them within his work has begun to waver. Thus, for the first time ever, Donald Glover has started to receive massive criticism for his work. I do think though, with the massive genius that Donald Glover has, if he takes some time to reevaluate and refocus himself, he can bounce back and come back better than ever. I have seen in recent interviews that Donald has been talking about still making music, but that he feels no urgency to release any of it. He has the mentality of keeping doors open in case he wants to revisit something in the future, and I think that's a positive thing. Working on a Childish Gambino album right now? Uh, no, no, I'm gonna, uh... <laughs> No, I make a, I make, I'm making a lot of music. I, I really love doing it. I've made a bunch of it. It's just really about how to experience it at this point. Like, you... As much as I feel things have fallen off somewhat for Childish Gambino, he's probably exhausted from having to juggle this persona whilst also managing the stresses of just being Donald Glover. I truly hope we see the return of Childish Gambino in some form and he can create that same feeling that I once had with Because of the Internet. Time will tell.